Hi everyone, in this Lightroom tutorial video, I'm going to show you the full edit on this lion image. I'm actually in the Kruger National Park as I speak. I'm recording this tutorial at Senzi Rustic Camp in the Kruger, and I took this photograph only a couple of days ago at an amazing lion sighting. So to start off with, I'm going to choose Adobe Standard. You can play around with these color profiles. I sometimes use Adobe Color if the image is not saturated enough, but I'm going to use Adobe Standard. I'm going to drop the exposure a little bit just to Make sure I'm getting detail in those highlights on the main there. I'm going to raise up the blacks a bit. Drop down the exposure a little bit more. Raise up the whites, making sure to hold down Alt just to make sure I don't blow out any areas on the lines main there. So around about there. Might drop down some highlights. Maybe just a little bit of shadows there. So basically what I'm doing with this initial edit is just to flatten the exposure just a little bit especially for the shadows and the highlights. So now I'm going to raise a little bit of contrast, making sure to not clip anything. Something around about there. And I want to add some clarity to this image, but I don't want to add clarity to the outside and to this bottom area here. There's a lot of these twigs sticking out here, so I don't want to add clarity there. So I'm going to add clarity using a radial gradient along the face. It's going to click and drag quite a big radial gradient over the face. And I might extend it just a little bit to the mane and to the ears there. I'm going to add some clarity and maybe a little bit of texture as well just to bring some more detail out there. And then I might just add some negative clarity to the whole image, just a touch. Maybe a little bit of negative texture. So that's going to take away clarity and texture from the background or from the areas that that radial gradient wasn't selecting. And because I went a bit heavy on the clarity and the texture on the lion's face, it's now balanced nicely. I think what I want to do is I want to add some life to these eyes. The eyes are very pale, and although that's the color of the eyes, I want to just tweak those a little bit just to add a little bit more detail there. So I'm going to add a brush. I'm going to paint the whole eye there. And I'm going to paint on this other eye. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some clarity and some texture as well, quite a bit. And I'm going to zoom out and I think I'm going to drop the exposure a little bit because his eyes are very bright and add a little bit of contrast. Maybe a little bit more there. Maybe a little bit of saturation. And then I'm going to add another mask to the very bright part of the eye here. Like that. Go into the other eye there, like that. And then I'm going to increase the whites just to increase the brightness of that eye there. Maybe that's a bit too much. Something around about there. So you can see that's the eyes and the texture gradient we've added there. I think then what I'm going to do is I'm going to darken the outer edges just to add a little bit more emphasis on the face. I'm going to choose another radial gradient, quite a big one again. I'm going to invert that because I want to select the outside of the image. So something around about there. I'm going to drop that exposure. That just really lets that face of that line become the main attention in the image. And I think I might increase some of the lighter areas with the tone curve. I like to use a tone curve because it protects the very bright highlights in the image and a little bit of contrast there in the darks, but mainly in the lights there. So we're going for a very, very punchy image at this stage. I might increase the blacks just a little bit, just to soften the blacks a touch. Drop down that bit of that exposure. Okay, so now I'm going to work on the color. I like the white balance. I might just drop the color temperature very slightly and increase the magenta just a touch and now with color grading i'm going to add blue into the shadows something around about there but it's not as much and then i'm going to only affect the very dark areas so i'm going to adjust this balance slider something around about there let me drop this a little bit there and then i'm going to make sure my lens corrections is enabled and make sure to check the sharpening. 
I'm not going to edit this image any further after the Lightroom edit here. So I'm going to add sharpening to the image, making sure to use the masking around about there. So everything white is going to be sharpened. Something around about there. And then I think the HSL, I'm going to increase the saturation. No, let's rather do that in the vibrance here. And to increase the saturation of lesser saturated areas. And I think I might just adjust this orange color just to be slightly more red. I'm going to click there and drag it down. And then possibly increase the saturation just in that color. And then I think with the color grading, I'm going to add more blue into the shadows. It's very artistic. It might not be everyone's cup of tea, but I really like it. And I think that's looking pretty good. I'm just going to check this exposure. Soften the blacks ever so slightly. And then maybe what I might do is add a radial gradient for the top left of the image. I'm just going to zoom out here. Maybe just add a slight brightening there. I think that's a bit too dark because that's where the light was coming from. So, And then one of the last things I want to do is I just want to crop the image. I don't like these small twigs poking out at the bottom here. So I think I might get rid of those later in Photoshop. Uh, that'll be another tutorial coming. And then what I like to do with the portrait, I can see the eyes are slightly uneven. It's a little bit unbalanced in terms of a portrait. The line might have been sitting like that, but I like to balance that out. So you can use the crop tool just to change the image, make it a bit more straighter. That's looking good. Also, what I like to do is evaluate the image by zooming out. Sometimes it's harder to evaluate the whole image if you are looking at the image full screen. So sometimes I zoom out even to 6%. It sometimes shows you areas that are not really noticed by zooming full in here. I think I'm going to add more color grading. Just on those blues. So that is the before image. And that is the after. We've added some nice color and texture to the animal. Check out this video next if you want to see another full edit on a wildlife photograph in Lightroom.